Hi YouTubes, this is TS coming at you again with another update on Project 42. This is the end of my sixth week on uh, diet and exercise and um, starting out at 317 pounds I am now down to 286.2 pounds so I have lost 30.8 pounds in six weeks. This week alone I lost another five pounds from 291.2 down to 286.2 so I'm really happy with the five pound week. Um, last week, week five, I only lost 1.8 pounds. I think the main problem there was not sleeping enough. Um, the main difference this week is that I'm really starting to hit my groove. I'm really starting to feel good. My energy levels are really coming up. And uh, I moved my bedtime one hour forward. So now I go to bed instead of eight hours before I need to get up, I go to bed nine hours before I need to get up. And again, if, if you haven't watched previous videos, um, I'm recovering from sleep apnea. Um, and still, sleeping is not the easiest thing for me to do. I don't fall asleep as fast as I'd like. Um, I wake up a lot during the night. And my sleep architecture of how much of my sleep, what percentage of my sleep is REM sleep and stage 3-4 um, restorative sleep, is probably still a little skewed. So I really sort of need to make sure that I'm in bed nine hours a night. I maybe sleep about seven hours and 45 minutes of that on average. And uh, that gets me enough to uh, keep me moving throughout the day. Um, so yeah, things are going great. Like I said, another five pounds this week. And uh, get out the trusty tape measure here. Again, in my introductory video um, I could barely fit this 60 inch um, tape measure around my widest spot at my waist um, and now I have plenty of spare to go around and this is with me pushing my belly out as far as it'll go and still I have what before um, I could barely get it around so maybe 60 60 and a half inches now I've got I don't know a little over four inches to spare. So I've lost 30 pounds and about four inches off my waist. And so at this point in the video, I found myself rambling and rambling and rambling about the benefits of low carb and why I think it's essential for obese people to limit their carbs, particularly sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and refined grains like white rice and white flour. But I found that I was babbling on and on and on for half an hour and I can't fit all that in a video. So what I'm going to do instead is direct you um, either through some buttons or in the sidebar. I'm going to direct you to some links of YouTube videos <clears throat> in case you want to uh, explore more about why I'm losing weight now and what's working for me. One is a seven part series. Um, of Gary Taubes giving a lecture at Dartmouth and he um, is a science journalist historian type who wrote a book a year or two ago called Good Calories Bad Calories where he looked back through all the different fields epidemiology obesity research cardiology looked back through all of those fields for the last 150 years and sort of came up with, you know, what's the big picture? Why does the USDA and the American Heart Association recommend the low-fat diets that they do? What's the science behind it? Does that science really make sense in a bigger picture? And uh, so he talks about that and talks sort of about the history of things. Um, the other video is called Sugar, the Bitter Truth. It is um, from a pediatrician specializing in um, the study of obesity in children from UCSF, UC San Francisco, and uh, in collaboration with scientists at Berkeley and other scientists at uh, UC San Francisco. And uh, his talk is about specifically why it's sugar and high fructose corn syrup is bad for you and what is specifically wrong with that which has crept into so much of our processed foods um, over the last few decades. And uh, that's also a great one. Uh, watch the videos. See what you think. Anyway, I gotta run. See you later.